Good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? My name is Andrea, and welcome in today's very basic, back to basics, Hatha Yoga. And if this is your first time here and you want to do more yoga with me, don't forget to press the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. Today we'll go through all the all the basic, really easy, really simple, well, simple doesn't mean easy, postures, which you think are really basic, perfect for beginners, because I actually ask you what you think. Yes, you. So yeah, well, obviously I did what I wanted as well, <laughs> but I actually listened to you and we're gonna have some basic postures and I'm gonna let you into these secrets of yoga. I'm gonna tell you some tips and tricks how to make your sitting, make sitting more comfortable or some postures easier to manage, okay? So are we ready for this? I'm going to lose my blanket very soon, but let's let's think about the breathing during yoga huh that's not an easy thing to do so if you're a beginner or if you just want to you can just breathe normally in and out through the nose into the belly into the lungs into both whatever i'm telling you in the class just do it okay so if you just want to breathe normally nice and slow this is okay, you know, just don't stop breathing. That's, that's, the, that's the main point, just keep breathing. Now, if I'm saying inhale and then the exhale is so long and you kind of nearly die and just breathe fast, it's okay. You know, you'll get used to it. But if you want to try a nice yogic breath, uh, you can control it. So we will try to do that. Maybe you like it, maybe you won't like it. Uh, make sure you have some water close by because you may may need it. Because uh, when we force the air, we'll, we're pushing it uh, through the back of the neck. Okay, so it's not easy. It's not so much beginner stuff, but if I'll tell you now, you'll know later. So what we're gonna do, we'll just breathe in and on an exhalation, We'll open the mouth and we'll just say ha, ah, okay, but just through the through the mouth. So we'll do this four times. And as you breathe out and you're making the sound, just try to think where you're pushing the air. Okay, it's gonna be the back of your throat, just so you know. So relax your shoulders, make sure the back is nice and straight. <sighs> Inhale into your nose. Exhale into the mouth, saying ha. Ah. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. So this was the easiest you're gonna get. <laughs> now we're gonna do the same sound, but with the mouth closed. So we'll still force the air to make a sound. Don't force it too much, okay? Some people see, like sound like, like they're gonna die or they're having a seizure or something. You know, like, just don't push it too much. Um, oh yeah, this is a true story though. <laughs> um, so what we're gonna do, we'll breathe into the nose normally. And as we exhale, we will make a sound. I'm not sure if you will hear me, but try to listen. Okay, so maybe you heard it, maybe not. It's just the with the mouth closed. Okay, it takes time to perfect it, to master it. So don't worry, we'll try four breaths. Relax, inhale through the nose. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
exhale. Inhale. This is the last one. And exhale. So try to listen to the sound you make. Very good. And just roll the shoulders, move your head. Have a little water. This wasn't too bad, but breathing in, um, doing this breathing is going to be a little bit harder. Okay, so we're just going to do the same. But instead of breathing out, opening the mouth, we'll br breathe in with the mouth open. So again, we'll force the air to the back of the throat and we'll try to make the noise ha. Okay, so just listen. Okay, so I hope you're ready. Four with me. And inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale all the air out and again just move your head move your shoulders maybe have a little water because your throat will get a little bit uh, dry because you're breathing into your throat straight away and let's try making the noise with the mouth closed okay so it's gonna be very same very similar not the same so let me show you <laughs> And that's it. I'm not sure if you have heard it or not, but we'll try together. Four breaths. Ready? Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale and exhale. Very good. And again, just move your head, move the shoulders, have a little water, and now we're going to get into our basic postures. Okay, I'm going to lose the blanket so you can see my legs. So probably the most basic yoga position is the cross leg position. People do it even they don't know they're doing yoga. So when your feet are closed, oh, closed, <laughs> crossed, it's a seated cross leg position. Easy, simple. So you can sit one way and the other way. So if you, if you have been sitting in a cross leg position, just change your feet. And now you'll see that one hip is a little bit higher because obviously one foot is under the other foot. So what I like to do is to keep the hips a little bit higher so you can sit on the, on the pillow or on your block. Now, when I sit in a seated cross leg position or easy pose, I tend to slightly lean forward. I don't know, it's just... I just do it. So I have to remind myself to lengthen the spine. So if you have a wall close by, you can sit really against the wall. And we're going to make sure that the back is nice and straight. So when I'm sitting in a cross leg position, I would do, I would just do this. Yeah, so I would push my chest a little bit forward. And what we need to do, we need to engage our core and push the shoulders back and lengthen. So we're trying to keep the chest um, and the waist, the pelvis and the head all in one line, okay? So we're just lifting and lengthening. 
So if you have a mirror close by, you can check your posture. If you're sitting next to the wall, that's that's it. Uh, you're you're fine. Now, so the cross leg position is pretty okay for everyone. And I'm just gonna grab the blocks. If you have smaller blocks, these are not for sitting. These are under the hands. So if you want to sit on these, put two together, and this is a sitting block. I'm just gonna show you. So you know, so this is a block for sitting, okay? But if you put two of these together, it's the same size, okay? Now, if your knees are really high up, sit on the blocks. And if they're not, if you sit on the blocks, you stretch your hips even more. And that's what we want. So blocks are really useful. Now, from the cross leg position, we're gonna get into the second very basic yoga pose, which is called an easy pose, which is not so easy. In an easy pose, the feet are not crossed. So one is closer to you, one is further away. And maybe for this one, just to keep our hips nice and open and comfortable, it is essential to sit up a little bit higher. Because if you're here, you're, you're not very happy <laughs> and your hips are definitely not happy. So seriously, grab a block, pillow, two blocks, three blocks, it's okay. It's seriously, it is okay. And again, as you sit up, make sure you're not leaning slightly forward. So make sure the pelvis, your belly button is in, we're lifting the chest and the head is up as well. So we're not just dropping the chin down, okay? Yay! And let's change the feet as well. Just to see if, if one side is better than the other. And just notice the hips. So usually we tend to sit one way, that's why I just tell you to change the feet all the time, just to, you know, we need to stretch the other way too. Okay, so this was the easy pose. Now we're getting into butterfly position. Okay, butterfly position, some people love it because they can do it, some people don't like it because they find it a little bit harder. In butterfly position, it's a very symmetric position, we're bringing the soles of the feet together and we're opening the knees. Now, I'll show you what may happen. Maybe not to you, but it does happen in the classes. So, some people do sit like this. Okay, now, there's few things that are wrong with the posture. So I'll show you sideways as well. Um, my hips are definitely not happy at the moment and my back is not straight. So even if I'm trying to lift the chest forward, my back is not straight. Okay, my back would be straight here, but it's not nice and straight. So if you find that your knees are not all the way down and they're not in the line with the, with the hips, don't panic, it's okay. But a miracle is not going to happen. You need to actually, so if your knees are up, you need to bring the hips up here just to bring the hips to the same level as your knees, okay? The knees will not go down. The hips can come up. So if you can see my hips now, they're higher. And if my seated position, my butterfly position, my knees were up here, and I sit up on the blocks, the knees didn't move, I'm just trying not to fall, the knees didn't move down, but the hips moved up. And now I can actually sit up, the hips are happy because I'm not squashing them, squeezing them. And actually in here, you can relax. Because if you're not comfortable, you're always thinking, oh, this hurts, that hurts, I'm not comfy, you know. But here, because you're like, oh wow, that feels good, and I can actually feel the posture, you can relax. And once you relax, your knees will come lower and they will open more, okay? Now, watch my hips now. So even if you're amazing, and if you're sitting, and the knees are all the way down, so if you can just check out my hips, because I'm quite flexible, so I'm all the way down, but, if I sit on the blocks, <laughs> try 
how to fall down. I can open my hips even more. Can you see? They're opening even more. So blocks doesn't mean that you cheat, that you're doing something less. It means that you're helping yourself in a posture. You're in a better posture, you can stretch more, and you will actually be more flexible by doing the postures in the right way, okay? I read in one of those books that I've got that put weights on your knees. <laughs> Please don't do that, okay? It's, it's, it's not right. So the hips will move, the knees will not move. Yay, and I'm just think, thinking. I'm just talking too much now. So let's just bring the knees in front of us. You can stay on the blocks, you don't have to. Bring the hands behind you and just very gently move those knees from side to side because maybe we can feel those hips now. I can definitely feel mine. So the next basic seated position is just, oh, I can't say it's my least favorite kind of because my least favorite is something else. <laughs> but it's, it, it's, it's not an easy one. So it's very simple. We're just gonna straighten the legs in front of us. And we're gonna keep the feet, hips width apart. Now, if the ankles and knees and the hips are in one line, that is very good for our legs. If we flex the feet, we'll feel all the muscles in the back of the legs, okay? So if you want to, uh, stretch or work with the muscles more. So we, we, when we're engaging the muscles, usually flexing the feet, and when we're taking it easy and when we're just stretching gently, usually I'll tell you to relax your feet. Okay, so now, if, if you're sitting with the legs straight and you're kind of here somewhere and you're just not comfortable with the hips, with anything, bend your knees. It may help. Sit up high on the blocks, it may help, okay? Or just a little pillow, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a pillow. <laughs> we'll see if it will help me. But yeah, and also we really need to push our buttocks back. Okay, so we're creating this space so we can actually, in a moment, do our next basic position which is leaning forward. So this is not nice. We're gonna actually move here. So let's bring the hands to the side. You can use the blocks, you don't have to point the toes first, lift the chest, and really make sure you're not leaning anywhere. Hips, belly button, chest, and the head, nice in one line. You can sit against the wall if you want to, if you dare. Now, as you inhale, point the toes, look up, lift the chin. And as you exhale, flex the feet and bring the chin down. So, so you should feel the back of your legs and I can feel the neck and, and the spine. If I really drop the chin down, I can feel the spine. Inhale, point the toes, look up and try to smile and smile. Exhale, flex and chin down. Inhale, point and up. And exhale, flex and down. We will add the arms into this, which is not easy. Inhale, point the toes and circle the arms up. Now, if you're against the wall, make sure everything's against the wall. If you're not, make sure you can't see your arms, okay? So the arms are in the line with your ears. Bend your elbows slightly. And as you exhale, flex your feet, circle the arms down and drop chin to the chest. Three more to go. Inhale, point the toes, circle up. Exhale, flex and down. Inhale, point up. And exhale, flex and down. And we're still smiling. <laughs> Inhale, point up. Exhale, flex down. Now, 
As you inhale, point the toes, circle the arms up, relax the shoulders. As you exhale, flex your feet and let's try to lean forward. And this is the problem, I think. As you inhale, point the toes, slowly come up, uncurl the back, lift the arms. If you need to bend your knees, it's okay. And then as you exhale, lean forward. So maybe it's easier for you, for your hips, if you bend your knees. It's okay, I'm not judging, it's fine. Inhale, point the toes and up. You need to adjust so you're not hurting. Exhale, flex and down. Inhale, point and up. Lengthen and be smiling. Exhale, flex and down. And this is our next basic yoga simple position. Forward fold, relax straight. Now, you can flex, keep flexing the feet, you can relax your feet, whatever feels the best for you. We're going to stay here for a few breaths. So I just want you to relax here. And I want you to breathe. So you can, you can do the breathing technique that we've done at the beginning. You don't have to, maybe you don't like it. Many people don't like it. It's okay. Okay, so just do what you want. Few breaths here. And it will always help if you keep if you will keep pushing your buttocks back. Just keep pushing them back. One more breath here. Inhale and exhale. Relax even more. So you want to just slowly, gently sit up. Yay! And I'm sure we can feel everything. As you exhale, bring the hands behind you, bend your knees and just gently move those knees from side to side. And well done. So these, all these basic pushes are not as easy as they look. Now, so we were sitting, we we're leaning forward. Now we'll want to lean to one side and to the other side. So there are a few different side stretches that we can do. We're not doing the mermaid today, but we're going to do something very simple. We're going to straighten and open the left leg and we will try to keep the right knee bent. Now, some people may just sink and curl the back. Okay, so you need to lift the chest, you need to align your body, upper body, sit on those blocks. If you need to, if you'll be higher, it will be easier, I promise you. So I'm going to sit on this purple block. And also, if it's too much for the knee or the hip or anything's wrong with your left leg, bend the knee, it's fine. If your hip, your knee is not happy with your right leg, the position of your right leg, straighten the leg in front of you. Okay, it's okay. It's all okay. So just do what you need to do with your legs, but make sure the hips are happy, you sit it up nice and tall. Now, I will want you to engage the muscles, so I will want you to flex your left foot. Okay, so now, we're gonna look at that foot. If the toes are pointing up, everything's fine. If the toes are pointing forward or back, not good. Okay, so if you just point the toes forward or back, you can see the whole leg and the hip moving. So forward, not good. Back, not good. Up is fine. Okay, so just really make sure that's there. If the knee is bent, it's fine because the foot is down. Easy. <laughs> Okay, now, when we lean, people do weird things. You don't even want to see those things. Uh, when we will lean, we'll really make sure we're lengthening the spine, so we're not going to collapse, okay? We'll lengthen the spine, place the left hand to your left leg, and just to make sure we're gonna be up and nice and 
in the right position, which is going to stretch the right arm to the right side. So we're opening the chest, okay? So we're not gonna collapse at the end. So just open the right arm, left hand is down, and we're just slightly, we're going to twist to the right. So just bring the right hand a little bit more back. And then start sliding the left hand down to your left leg. And you can stay here, you can bring the hand down, you can reach, but make sure you're lengthening the spine towards where the leg is pointing. Okay, that's our aim. So we're lengthening this way. So if some people are pushing the right shoulder forward, it's not good. Okay, your spine is in the wrong position. So let's stay for two breaths and really try to open the chest, try to look up. If that's not good for your um, neck, you can look forward or down. Take a deep breath in. And exhale completely one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Brilliant. Slowly, gently come up. Yay! And I'm sure you can feel it's a sad stretch. So you should feel the side. <laughs> Yay. Oh, so we can bend both knees, bring the knees in front of you. And maybe you'll feel your right hip as well, because we stretched it too. We're stretching everything. It's simple, but it's not so easy, is it? If you're doing it right, it is definitely not easy. If you need some water or tea, have some water. I'm going to do the other side in a second. So I'm sure you did all these postures in the classes all the time. But are you doing them correctly? You know, that's the, that's the question. Okay, so we're, we're trying to straighten the right leg to the side. Remember, if you need to bend the knee, we're opening and bending the left knee. Remember, if you need to straighten the leg in front of you. Okay, and we're lifting the chest. So again, I'm sitting on the block. You can sit on a pillow just to be nice and straight. We're lifting the chest higher and we're going to flex the, uh, the foot. Look at the toes. Maybe even move the toes forward and back and just notice what is your knee and your hip doing. Okay, so that if you don't feel it, you know, you have to feel it to understand what I'm saying. But if you really move it, you can feel the hip moving with it as well. So just these little things that make it different. And slowly stop. So the toes are pointed up. Place the right hand down your right leg. Lift the chest. Straighten the left arm to the side and bring the hand back. So when we do this in the classes, it's not just because I want to torture you more, it's because I want you to be in the right position and that's what tortures you more. Because if something's too easy, you're probably in the wrong posture. Okay, slowly slide the right hand down your leg. And remember, we're trying to lengthen where the leg is pointing. So we're opening the chest, you can bring the hand down, you can reach the arm of your head, you can leave the arm where it was. And we're still smiling, aren't we? <laughs> Maybe. Take a deep breath in. Exhale all the air out. Very good. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. And just slowly come up, lower the arm. Yay, let's move those knees, bend those knees. <laughs> so, such a basic things we're doing, but I can feel it, I can definitely feel it. And all these twists, all the, all the leaning, everything you do in other postures. So that's very, very important that you know the basics. Okay, and I already said it, next thing we're gonna do is a twist, huh. which is not good. I mean, it's good, but people cheat a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, so I think this is going to be quite fine. We'll straighten the right leg in front of us and we will bend and open the left knee. And again, we'll engage the leg, so we're going to flex the foot 
make sure the toes are pointing out because if they're pointing somewhere else the hip is not in the right position now twist hmm. people cheat even more than in a uh, leading to the side way so what we need to be aware of is this is the spine so the spine is not leaning in a twist okay the spine is spirally with just twisting okay so when we will get into the twist make sure you're not leaning to the side to the back make sure the pelvis is down here and the shoulders just twist so everything is in one line twisted but in one line okay so I'm still sitting on a block. If you need to sit on a block, please do so. I need you to lift the chest as much as you can. Open the arms, but relax your shoulders. And then twist to the left. Now, make sure one shoulder didn't drop. Okay, we're not leaning. The arms are open. We're twisting. So now, we're kind of looking to the left. I just need you to place the left hand down behind you. Don't put too much weight on it and you can place the right hand from the inside of the right foot okay let's make it very simple very easy and just lift the chest and try to look behind you now the right shoulder should point towards me towards the front the left shoulder is pointing back i hope yours as well so we're not leaning anywhere we lifted the chest we twist it and we're here we stand for two breaths inhale Exhale. Very good. Keep smiling. In, <clears throat> inhale. Lift the chest higher. That's why I'm always telling you this. And the last exhalation here. Very good. And then just slowly, gently come back to the center. And then move your legs. Was it okay? Did it make sense what I'm talking? I'm talking a lot today. But it is important to know what you're doing because seriously, you wouldn't, if you just observe the class, classes sometimes, I'm like, these people are kidding themselves. Now imagine, your physio tells you, oh, do Pilates, do yoga. It's good for your back. Yes, it is good if you're doing it correctly, but if you straight away, if you do something wrong at the beginning, you're gonna make it worse by doing the posture and then if you do something wrong in a posture, you can really hurt your back or whatever we're stretching or the hips or the knees. So you have to know what you're doing. Okay, let's get ready for the other side. We're straightening the left leg, we're opening the right knee and flex the left foot. Check your toes, where are they pointing? To the side, in, out or up? Up is good. We're going to lift the chest as much as we can. We're going to open those arms. And we're smiling. Lift the chest higher, lengthen through the top of your head. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, we're just twisting, we're twisting. So once you're in a twist, make sure you're not leaning anywhere. Place the right hand behind you. Left hand from the inside of the left leg. And just check, are you leaning somewhere? No, hopefully not. So the left shoulder is pointing forward, right shoulder back, and this is amazing. This is it, this is all I want. And a smile, obviously. Stay, inhale. Exhale. Very good. Inhale, lift the chest higher. And as you exhale, try to really look behind you. So we're stretching the neck as well. Now, as you inhale, slowly come back to the center. And as you exhale, move those legs. So that's why I really like doing the twist lying down because you can't cheat. Well, people cheat on in, yeah, people cheat down as well. But if you keep your shoulders down on the mat, you're not cheating. Okay, so well done. Now, The time is running too fast. We'll have to have a second class, <laughs> maybe even three or four, with all these basic positions. I want you to come to all four positions now. 
Okay, so hands and knees. I'm just going to rearrange everything I've got here. So we're going to try to do this cat and a cow pose and you know, it's all okay. Maybe you know it, maybe you don't, probably you know it. But, well if you come into my classes you know what to do. If you want to, you can always place your hands on the blocks. So placing the hands this way um, is better for your wrist if you have any wrist injuries because if your fingers are straight, straight it may stretch the muscles but if the, if the fingers are bent it may be better for you so don't give up. You can always place the hands on the blocks or make fists. Okay, some teachers will never let you do the fist, but I'm telling you, do what you can without hurting yourself, okay? Now, hands under the shoulders. If you're not using the blocks, I need you to spread your fingers, push, push each finger and the palms into the mat. Keep the elbows slightly bent, so don't Oh, when I see people doing this, it's just, it hurts my eyes. So keep the elbows slightly back, knees under the hips. And for a start, just straighten the back and really feel the spine, okay? This is all about the spine. So the good posture is with the back straight. So don't drop the chin down, okay? Make sure you're lengthening in the neck as well. Neck is your spine as well. Now. I would like you to tuck the toes under as well. So we're stretching the legs a little bit more. Arms. Okay, so just for a moment, I would like you to move on your own and then I'll tell you what to do later. So on an inhalation, I would like you to arch the back and look up. And on an exhalation, I would like you to curl the back and bring the chin down. And I want you to do this on your own pace a few times, okay? Four or five times. So nice and slow, you can do the pranayama as we did it, breathing technique, or you can just breathe normally. Obviously I can't do it because I'm talking too much, yay! <laughs> but it's okay. So feel the back, feel the spine. you do it four or five you on the last one just bring the tops of your feet down to the mat open the knees and we're coming into another nice and basic yoga posture called the child's pose so here we're trying to sit down to our heels maybe the forehead is down maybe you need a little support so a little bit higher and you can always bring the arms forward well if i don't tell you otherwise you can leave the arms alongside your body some people like to bring the hands to the low back so just for a moment stay in a child's pose and just notice the spine it should feel good it should feel comfortable and if it's not adjust okay so if you feel pain, if you feel tension in the posture, you can't just stay there and suffer, okay? You need to adjust so your joints, your muscles are comfortable. Otherwise, you're going to injure yourself and that's the complete opposite of what we're trying to achieve. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And the last exhalation here. Very good. Now, I need you to slowly, gently come up to all four position again. And I think we're just going to leave everything as it is for today. It's too much information anyway. So just sit down for a moment. Any comfortable seated position where we were sitting today, 
So don't forget you can sit on the pillow, sit on the blocks, you can sit cross leg position, easy pose, butterfly position, straight legs in front of you, choose what you want. We're gonna do uh, four breaths in the seated position and after I'll tell you I'll show you one more basic yoga position and we're going to relax in it. And yes, it is Shivasana. <laughs> now, when you're sitting, you can rest your hands on your knees. Or you can turn the palms up and just relax your palms. You can bring the hands into Chimudra. Or you can even bring the palms together in front of your chest into a prayer position. Or you can even bring the hands up above your head. <laughs> so just do what you need to do. I'm just going to keep my hands down on my knees. We're going to take four breaths. You can just breathe normally or you can engage the breath and control the breath. Just as we learned at the beginning of the class. So four breaths here. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Make sure the spine is straight. Make sure you're not leaning anywhere forward or back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And the last inhalation here. And as you exhale, just drop the chin down, move your shoulders, move your head. Well done. We did a lot today. And I hope you've learned something a little bit new. And it is time for Shavasana our most important yoga posture so once you're ready you can get a pillow or a block under your head and let's lie down so make sure you're comfortable make sure you're fine so when you lie down i really like people having something under their head so the chin doesn't come up and they're not breaking the neck. So make sure the chin is down. You can keep the knees bent. You can straighten the legs down to the mat. Relax your feet. Let them fall where they naturally want to. And the arms are ideally a little bit away from the body palms facing up so they're really relaxing but if you want to place your hands of your belly button it's okay or anywhere else it's okay so once you're comfortable allow your eyes to close gently and bring your awareness to your breath Just really try to lengthen each inhalation and each exhalation. Relax your shoulders. Let them sink into your mat. Make sure there's no tension in the neck or the shoulders. It makes you feel good and comfortable. Relax 
relaxe e rios. Make sure there's no tension in your low back or your middle back or upper back or your neck. Make sure everything is feeling just fine, perfect. And keep smiling and keep lengthening each breath. Just notice all the muscles in your body relaxing. We stretched every muscle today. We lengthened the muscles. We strengthened them. So now it is time to relax them as much as we can.
And just start to breathe a little bit more deeply. Begin to move your head, your feet, and your head. And then very gently bend your knees, one knee, then the other knee. Move them from side to side. And then roll to one side and push yourself up and let's sit with the eyes still closed and just notice how good you feel in this moment this is the present moment it is a gift. And let's just bring the palms together in front of the chest into prayer position. Namaste. 